we're now going to take a look at object linking and embedding and which is sometimes shortened to the acronym OLE. Now in order to understand this we're going to separate what linking is and what embedding is and understand what they both essentially do and that is they both link us to an external source or an external file or document. Okay, so we can actually get something that is external and implement it into our document. So we'll take a look at linking first and you'd be quite common with links. Basically, the internet is the foundation of links uh, where we click on a link and it takes us to another location on the internet, which is another usually HTML file. And then there we click on another link and it takes us to another server where there's another HTML file. And that's the whole backbone of the internet. So what I'm going to do here in my Word document is create both a link and also embed the same document as well. So you can see the difference between the two. So what I'm going to do here is actually highlight this area here, Activity 16, Win Loss Records. And I'm going to link my document to this specific file. And this should be the last activity you did as a part of this uh, booklet. So what I'm now going to do is go right click and I'm going to go hyperlink. So what I'm going to do here is from my available files, I'm going to select activity 16. Okay. And then go, okay. One thing I want to point out too, is I'm choosing an existing file or web page. So that means I can select obviously files from what's available on my computer. But what I can also do is type in straight up a web address and it will link to that web address too. Okay. So given a whole variety of options of what you would like to link to. So I've selected the file for win loss records and I'm going to go, okay. And so now, when I click on this file, and because I'm in Word, it asks me to hold control down. Okay, and open up, yep, watch out and click on a link. Bang, it opens up the file for me. So that's how a link works. It actually takes me to the external files location. So this file would have to be on my computer or on the internet for me to access it. If I update that file and then click on this link, it takes me to the updated version. So I'm accessing the file at its external source, which is the most recent version of the file. Embedding is different in that now I'm going to actually get the file and put it into this document here. So what I need to do with embedding, and it might actually help if I open up this file again. Okay, yep, let's open it up. I'm actually going to take this data and put it into my Word document. So what I do here is I highlight the actual area of the spreadsheet that I want to embed, and I'm going to go copy. So I'm going to press Control C to do a copy. And then I'm going to go back to my Word document here and let's put it underneath my, here is an example of embedding. And I'm going to go home and paste and I'm going to go paste special. When I click on paste special, okay, it obviously gives me some options here of what I can actually paste in. And because I've got Microsoft Excel opens, it appears on this list. So Microsoft Excel must be open, okay, and active as a worksheet. So I'm going to go OK. Okay, and here it's been embedded into my document. Now, as you can see, it's a bit large. Okay, I can shrink that down. Okay, so it fits in a little bit better. Now, that just looks like a normal paste as per usual. If I double click onto the actual embedded file, okay, it works as if it was in Excel now. So that means these formulas are actually active. So if I actually change things here, you can see the formula on the end is updating appropriately. Okay, and that's a massive power from the tool. Okay, and if I press escape, it then returns back to normal Word document, but the actual changes that I've made within the Excel file have updated within this document. What I need to show you though, if I go back to the original file where it's located, Okay. it's still the same. There's no connection between the embedded file and the source file. So I can do anything I want to the file in the Word document and it will not um, change the actual source file at all. So I hope this has given you a good understanding of the difference between linking a document and embedding a document. Linking me takes me to the actual source file location and I can edit the source file and it's changed. Okay. Whereas if I embed a document, I can put it into another document such as the Microsoft Word document here and edit it independently of the source file. So give it a try. This amazing tutorial is a part of Spreadsheet Lesson Activities, a new book that I've released related to content with spreadsheet concepts, activities related to functions, graphs, embedding, conditional logic and macros and much more. 
links to unadvertised YouTube demonstrations, exam style questions and sample answers. So be sure to check it out if you want to learn more about spreadsheets.